the first stop of the 12th day trip is Taipei. Taipei is the political, economic, educational, cultural center of Taiwan with an estimated population of 7 million people and one of the major hubs in East Asia. There are a few remarkable things to do in the city and the first one is Liberty Square. Liberty Square is a major site for public gatherings in Taipei and is home for three major landmarks as well as civic parks. At the east end of Liberty Square stands the National Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. The square is flanked by the National Concert Hall on the north and the National Theatre on the south. Liberty Square regularly serves as the site of mass gatherings in Taiwan. Crowds gather at the square throughout the year for outdoor festivals and concerts. A bit of history of Taiwan. In the middle of 16th century, Portuguese sailors sighted an uncharted island, noted on their map as Ilha Formosa, which means beautiful island. The island of Taiwan was inhibited by indigenous people for thousands of years before the 17th century when Dutch colonialists opened the island to mass Han immigration. A few years later, the island was annexed by the Qing dynasty of China and ceded to Japan by the end of 19th century. Following the surrender of Japan after the Second World War, the Republic of China took over control of Taiwan. The Chinese Civil War was resumed between the Chinese nationalists, led by Chiang Kai-shek, and the Communist Party of China, led by Mao Zedong. In 1949, Chiang Kai-shek evacuated the nationalist government of Taiwan and made Taipei the temporary capital of the Republic of China. Two million of people, consisting mainly of soldiers and intellectual and business elites, were evacuated from mainland China to Taiwan at that time. In addition, the Republic of China government took to Taipei many national treasures and much of China's gold reserves and foreign currency reserves. Nowadays, Taiwan has the 22nd largest economy in the world, and the state is ranked highly in terms of civil and political liberties, education and healthcare. Mao Kong Gondola is a transportation system in Taipei which operates between Taipei Zoo and Mao Kong. The line's length is 4.5 kilometers and it has four stations. One way ticket for one station is 70 Taiwanese dollars, for three stations 120, but you cannot use it as a hop on hop off ticket. Jinan Temple is a Taoist temple on the slopes of Haoshan, the Monkey Mountain. It was founded in 1882. The temple's main deity is Lu Dongbin, one of the eight immortals. The gondola reaches the height of nearly 300 meters. The crystal cabin has a glass floor for the better view of the landscape. The National Palace Museum was originally established as the Palace Museum in the Forbidden City in 1925, whose extensive collection of artwork and artifacts were built upon the imperial collection of the Ming and Xin dynasties. The present day, National Palace Museum was moved to Taipei Shilin District following the Republic of China government relocation in 1949 
with an official opening for the public in 1965. The National Palace Museum has a permanent collection of nearly 700,000 pieces of ancient Chinese imperial artifacts, making it one of the largest of its type in the world. The collection encompasses 8,000 years of history of Chinese art, from Neolithic age to the modern. Most of the collection are high-quality pieces collected by Chinese emperors and includes metalwork, furniture, ceramics and porcelain, carvings, paintings and calligraphy, rare books and documents. The paintings in the museum date from Tang Dynasty to the modern era and the collection covers over 1,000 years of Chinese painting. My first impression about Taipei street architecture was graying down. Some of the streets were too narrow that only one person can go through. I left my hotel in Chemin district in the center of the city and took a walk around the streets. Diho street is the oldest street in Taipei, with some section existed since the rule of Dutch Formosa in 17th century. It's also a popular street known for heritage shops selling sweets and other regional specialty goodies, and in county tea houses, dessert shops, and wholesalers selling dry food products. Shanghai Hoshin Shop, a traditional confectionery shop, loved by Taipei locals for over 70 years. The steamed rust cakes are made by hand in the store every day. The simple package design gives this traditional Chinese cakes a modern flair. The cakes are light and bite-sized and come in a wide range of flavors. The recipes were modified for the past years. The size and the sweetness of the cake were reduced according to the modern preferences, while staying as close as possible to original texture and the quality. The prices for the cakes and pastries are ranging between 25 and 55 Taiwanese dollars per piece. According to Chinese horoscope, the year 2019 is the year of pig, so you will see a lot of images of pig throughout of my Taiwanese videos. And now, yes, Russian shop in the middle of Taipei. The owner has started in Moscow, and since then, for over 20 years, he is having a business with Russia. The next destination in Taipei is the Longdong Beon Temple. It's located next to Confucius Temple, that was unfortunately closed on Monday. Originally constructed in 1742 as a wooden shrine, the Baon Temple is a Taiwanese folk religion temple. The temple was renovated and reconstructed numerous times, leading to induction into UNESCO for cultural heritage conservation. Nearby the doors of the temple are large images of gods protecting the gates. Dedicated to the Taoist Saint Baoshin Dadi, the 900 square meter large temple faces south, in line with Feng Shui practices. The buildings also run from tallest to shortest in that order, in observance of Confucian principles. The National Taiwan Museum opens the north entrance to 228 Peace Memorial Park. It was established in Qin Dynasty and it's the oldest park in Taipei. Been renamed few times, its present name hails from 1996 in recognition of one of the pivotal events in Taiwanese modern history, which is known as the 228 Incident. The incident involved an uprising in which Taiwanese protested against the post-Chinese government set in place by Chiang Kai-shek. Tens of thousands of people were killed in the following months.
As Taiwan entered its democracy period in the 90s, President Lee Tin Hui offered an official apology in 1995 and invited for discussion of Taiwan's past. I'd like to say a few words about Taipei MRT, which is a subway. It's easy to navigate and very efficient. Everything is written in both languages, Chinese and English. It takes only a few seconds to buy a ticket, even if you are the first time in Taipei Metro. You have any questions left? Ask Taiwanese people, and they're always ready to help and to do their best for you. Those two ladies just met in the train and they're already talking about their families and sharing their pictures. Next station, Taipei 101, World Trade Center. Taipei 101 was the oldest, tallest inhabited building at 510 meters high from its opening in 2004 until 2010 completion of the Buri Khalifa in Dubai. The first five floors are taken up by one of the fanciest Taipei's mall. Observation deck is on the 89th floor, but I didn't go up as visibility at the time was 50% only. Longshan Temple is a Chinese folk religious temple which was built in Taipei in 1738 by settlers during Qing Dynasty. It served as a place of worship and gathering place for the Chinese settlers. Longshan is dedicated to the Bodhisattva of Mercy Guanin. In addition to its Buddhist elements, it includes halls and altars to Chinese deities such as Matsu and Guan Yu. The bronze pillars and the incense holders depict a common temple motif, the full holding up the sky. The western style appearance of the fools is no coincidence. They said it represents the Dutch who occupied Taiwan in 17th century. The temple was declared as a secondary national heritage site in the country. And finally, about the food. I visited two night markets in Taipei. Huashi Street Market is located conveniently next to Longshan Temple and it's one of Taiwan's more traditional markets. Shilin Net Market is often considered to be the largest and the most famous net market in the city. Many of Taiwan's traditional food can be found and bought for reasonable prices from the friendly locals here such as gin fried steak, tempura, bubble tea, oyster vermicelli, oyster omelette, fried buns, and of course stinky tofu. Like most of the night markets in Taiwan, the local businesses and vendors begin opening around 4 p.m. The crowds reach their peak between 8 and 11. Businesses continue operating well past midnight, closing around 1 or 2 a.m. Taipei Lantern Festival 2019 invites everyone to start the new year by making a wish for the better future among the beautiful lightning and performances.
Here we are, Taipei Main Station. Subscribe and join me on the next trip around Taiwan and traditional London festival and motorbike trip through the gorgeous mountains. See you!